The chairman of Region 6, Mr. David Armagon, is currently celebrating nine years as the chairman of the Region 6 RDC. Nareem Ali has more details. Today, February 1st, 2021, marks the ninth year since Mr. Pramal David Armagon has been serving in the capacity of Regional Chairman of East Burby's current team. On February 1st, 2012, Mr. Armagon was appointed as the Regional Chairman and he took over from Mr. Zulfikar Mustafa, the current Minister of Agriculture. During an exclusive interview with this newscast, he shared his other engagements prior to assuming office as Regional Chairman. I uh, was a businessman and I, I'm still a businessman uh, because I have been in the sand business, I've been in lumber business, I've been in trucking business and so. And prior to that, I was a, a, a human resources manager with Guy Suko um, at Blair Monte State. His first day in office was filled with challenges. However, he managed to work through them. Immediately upon assuming office on, the, on February, the first, the two days after, there was very, very intense heavy rainfall in the region, and the entire region was virtually flooded out. And so, in a way, you could say I was baptized with water, because uh, everywhere was water, and we had a very, very difficult period for the, the first three weeks, trying to get water off the land and in people's rice field and in people's farmland and in people's, uh, in, the, in the cattle pastures, and everywhere else, even in people's homes, there was uh, water in people's kitchen and, and so forth. And so that's how, that's how we started, basically. So it was a kind of a, a bad beginning in the sense that we came into an irregular situation. I have never been faced with such a situation in my life before. And then having to come with, uh, you know, uh, put on along boots and walk into all this water in every part of the region. It was, it was, uh, it was totally different from what I was doing. As the days went by, the issues continued to increase in numbers. After that, every day became a challenge. So, because your resources have always been limited, and the demands of the people are always uh, unlimited. You know, this office, I didn't realize it came with all those headaches with neighbors fighting neighbors and, you know, legal issues and, you know, quite a number of things that I, I really didn't think, um, you know, it was appropriate um, at that time. He further explained how he is no longer bothered by the negative comments. And today, today you know, um, you know, the little things that used to bother me before, before you know, when I go into places like Black Bush and people started to get abusive and tell you how you were born, and these things, it used to affect me in my earlier years uh, when I came into the job, but um, I've got accustomed to it now. And so I have learned that um, if, you, if you do, you're done. If you don't, you're still done. So I try my best every day to do what I think is the best thing. I try every day to make sure that uh, um, people are comfortable in the region. I try every day to make sure that not always you can be able to do the things for people, but I always try to tell them in a nice way that when it, when it cannot be done because of the resources that are available. Having been in office for nine years, Mr. Armagan has had the privilege of working under three different presidents. I came in during the time of the Don Ramatar presidency. And you know, at that time, uh, the, the, it was a minority government quite a number of things that we wanted to do during that period, we could not have get done because of the, uh, the way the opposition at that time behaved in the parliament. It was still a little bit of a difficult period to get what you wanted done because the resources were being cut in the National Assembly by the opposition at that time. In 2015, it became even more difficult because then I became on virtually uh, uh, being a member of the opposition, for, uh, being a member of the PPP, a central committee member of the PPP, and being a regional chairman. Um, it was not so easy working with the uh, coalition government. Even though I was able to get along with, um, with some of the ministers during the coalition government, and was able to get uh, some amount of help too from some of the, some of them. But you know, we we, we couldn't do 
as much as I uh, as I really wanted to do, or uh, with as much as people expected us to do, because we were not in control of the resources. He explained how he wants to move the region forward. You know, like yeah, when you come into any new situation, you have dreams, and so if I had my way and I had the resources, I would have done all the streets in our region because I still had a dream that um, you know that we would have had a regional airport here in which people can fly from Tamiri to Barbies. One of the things that I really wanted to do too was to uh, bring back uh, cricket to the uh, Albion Sports Complex International Cricket. Culture too, uh, we, one of the things that I really would, would like to see happen uh, before I, I, I come off of this job is a cultural um, facility here in our region, um, somewhat similar to the uh, cultural center in Georgetown. In closing, he shared the impact that the job as regional chairman has had on his life. I, uh, I, I grew up uh, in a home that uh, my father always taught us that, you know, the, one of the greatest things that you can do in life um, is to serve humanity, you know. When you serve humanity, you serve God. And, you know, in my own life, my own personal life, I always bring that to bear because God has been very good to me, I must say. Um, he has given me more than I probably deserve in terms of uh, material stuff. And I am very um, satisfied in the way but my material life has gone. But at the same time, too, I have some degree of spirituality within me and I believe in giving back to society and to people. Uh, I, I, um, I am a Hindu and I, I believe that, um, you know, whatever you do, um, it's important and, and so, I, I mean, it's a good human feeling when every day you can be able to do something for some people. You, you know, you get a sense of gratification, you get a sense of a good feeling that you know, uh, you know, every day you can help somebody, and that that's what gives me the satisfaction to stay on. Because every day somebody come, and if I could help, I may not be able to help all of them, but if 20 people come to the office every day and they can help uh, 10 of them, I feel good about it. The management and staff of DTV8 and Channel 8 News wishes to extend congratulations to Mr. David Armagan as he celebrates nine years in office as regional chairman of Region 6. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.